Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, we are continuing our focus today, taking a look ahead of the elections. And we're joined this morning by Professor Remy Shonaya, who is the president of COA, I beg your pardon, presidential candidate of COA party. What am I thinking? Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you. Thank you. Well, speaking about uh, COA party, I mean, yes, the, COA party actually was registered. Maybe you should just give us a little background about it because people keep talking about uh, some other party other than COA party. Give us the background. Why did you choose to go with COA party? Um, well, the background to COA party is that it's a party that was registered in 2009, sort of ahead of the elections in 2011. And uh, it was put together, it was established by people who thought that we needed to do something to reclaim politics, to, to reclaim the impression that people have of, of politics. Uh, as being a domain where uh, maybe merit, where competence, where integrity, uh, and all those positive values had been lacking. And so a group of people came together. The party had been formed actually before I, before I joined. I joined in 2010 and uh, then got elected as the national PRO of, of the party. Um, so that's the kind of motivation that, that brought COA party into being. So why did you choose to run for the presidency? Why did I choose to run for presidency? Because I thought that somebody like me needed to. Um, we have for long uh, sort of drawn back. You know, people, ordinary people, um, thinking that, oh, you've got to have loads of money to get into uh, politics. You've got to have a godfather to get into politics. You've got to have this and that, you know, be a powerful person in the uh, country to get into politics. And, I, I, and that's not true. It simply is not true. Each and every one of us, you have a stake in Nigeria. I have a stake in Nigeria. I am qualified to run for the presidency of, of Nigeria. And uh, you know, like what Barack Obama said, um, he thought that there was, you know, there was this uh, skinny uh, little black boy who thought that America had room for him. Well, this maybe not so skinny woman uh, <laughs> thinks that Nigeria has a place for her at the leadership level also. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to go with the example of Barack Obama, he didn't join a party that was not known. He joined the party, one of the two major parties, to run on their platform. So the question is, uh, how do you intend to get your message heard? Um, yes, because you've got to choose, uh, finally, uh, what, what you do. Um, I did not feel that I could function uh, within the framework that I saw uh, being operated with the two uh, political parties. You know what the discourse is like with regard to politics in the land. Uh, lack of internal <coughs> democracy, godfatherism, and things like that. I do not function. I'm not able to function that way. Um, you know, let's say it does not fit my temperament, uh, which you know, seeks to express herself as plainly, as openly uh, as possible. You know, I might go and get myself into a party uh, where I would be constantly at loggerheads uh, with people. I wanted to join a party where I could really contribute, where everybody had the same uh, uh, opportunity for input, for expressing uh, their opinion. There was not one or two or three individuals who were you know, all powerful and, and determining uh, what would happen in, in, in the nation. That's the kind of co-op. Those are the values that we have in, in co-op. So that's the reason, sorry, Salama, yeah. that's the reason you joined co-op. 
That's the but the question is, how do you intend to get your message heard? You've talk, talked about how you don't need a lot of money to enter politics, but yeah. the politicians should tell you that the money is necessary because media space doesn't come for free. So the question is, how do you intend to you know, work around that? I wonder the effectiveness of most of the money that I uh, see being spent. Okay, what is the money really used for? Uh, is it really, yes, you have the billboards splashing around and, you know, you've just been talking about posters uh, uh, in Lagos being pasted all over the place and, and so on, and all of that uh, costs money. Yes, it does cost money, and uh, I am raising uh, some funds to, to be able to also get uh, my message across. But I also am exploring and exploiting all the other avenues, uh, non-heavily monetized or you know financial uh, avenues that exist for for getting one's message uh, across instance. to the people. For instance, the social media. Uh, I've been tweeting. I've been sending messages on on Facebook. Uh, Things, things like that, and, and just having people also uh, passing my message on uh, on their various on the various um, groups within which which they operate. So uh, it, it's slow. I, I know what what you mean. I know I, I, I understand the, the concern that you, you feel. It is slow, yes, but there are principles behind it. I really don't believe that money should be wasted, not in a country like ours, where we are told that so many live below the poverty line. Now, why waste money that could be put in, into uh, improving the quality of education, uh, uh, improving the, the, the standard of live, living of the people and, and so on. I don't so much believe in all these uh, thousand people wearing the same uniform. I'm not sure that that's the best you know, use of, 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 of money. Do you think uh, this can work for you? Because if a uh, majority uh, from, since independence we've all seen the way politics is played in the country. You must have your crowd, uh, the same uniform you talked about. You must have women wearing similar clothing. You want to call them Ashray B. Everybody coming, campaigning, going from street to street, and using also the traditional media and now the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, can COA match that with uh, other political parties leading I up to this particular election? I really hope that our message will begin to resonate with people. Um, the, the, the issue before us is the way we have done things this far, um, has it been beneficial to us as a nation? We must begin to ask ourselves those questions. If you keep doing something the same way, is it normal that you would get a different result? Absolutely not. So the challenge is, look, we've got to start doing things differently. We've got to change. We've got to change our perception. We've got to change our behavior. Our, our political behavior, the political culture, really does need to be changed. That's what we are about. It may not happen, it's likely not to happen, you know, overnight, but we must begin somewhere. But also, you know, I'm encouraged because changes are happening at a fast rate now in other places around the world. Hey, why not in Nigeria? What's the message of COA that will, can define the difference in this election? The message of COA is true democracy. True democracy. That the people, the, the, the sovereignty rests with the people. And that the resources of the nation must be deployed, must be used for the benefit of all the people. COA party does not believe 
in servicing an elite group, servicing a minority, and now having benevolence to the rest of the people. You know, where uh, an elite group detains, you know, not only the power, but most of the resources. And then, you know, gives handouts, you know, benevolent gestures to, to the rest of the people. You don't run a system that way. Koa Party would like to see a system established. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you let me come in now, that yeah. do you think that the uh, tradition of uh, handouts, especially when politicians visit places, shouldn't be part of it. How has the reception been like when you go to places uh, to campaign? Yes, I know that's, that's, that is the challenge before us before, because people are used to it. And I remember uh, being with some women in the market uh, some time ago and engaging them over this matter. And, and of course you come and they expect, ah, what did you bring for us? You know, I'm, I'm like, oh, I could have brought some money, like, you know, to distribute to you. But, you know, if I give you 5,000 Naira each now, you're going to pay back um, down the road if I get there. You know, because it might just happen that um, you get to the hospital and the drugs you need will not be there. And, you know, uh, and, 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 and. A, a lot of the people who go about distributing money. Our new found word now is stomach infrastructure. We go for stomach infrastructure and we, if we receive it, we are going to pay for it. There's no doubt about it. The people that are giving the handouts, they, 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 they are doing so, they are investing. All investment is expected, you know. So to, to, how did they respond to your message? Then they start thinking, well, that's true, you know, and, and, and it rings a bell. And, and I hope that, like that, you know, people will begin to see that there is a better way. There is a better way of doing things. That's you know, what I'm about. Yeah, yeah.